do 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 we are starting in one two three here we go peeps the event is now beginning welcome 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 everyone it's friday and i hope you're having a great day because today we're going to be unboxing some awesome products in fact we're going to be unboxing three products but before i do i just want to say what's up everybody Welcome to another live stream. I apologize. I've taken a few weeks off. I'm a terrible, terrible person. Oh my God, I'm talking to... There we go. Now you can see me. I'm a terrible, terrible person. We took off the last couple of weeks just because of events, because of Apple launches, because of other product launches. But you know what? We're here now. We're here together forever. All right? I don't know what this... I have no idea. Like gang symbols. All right, so what's going on, everybody? What's up, Tom Tech? How's it going, buddy? Thank you for moderating this chat. If you know Tom, he is a savage, and he is here to make sure things stay in order. He's also part of the Discord family, so if you're not on my Discord server, trust me, you guys are missing something special. But I'm not gonna talk too much, because you know what? I kind of do that all the time. We're gonna get right into the unboxing. So in front of us, I have a very, very budget gaming laptop. I have the Nitro 5. You've seen this before with the Intel processor, but this one is the Ryzen 5. This one starts at $669. That's really affordable for a lot of people who want to get themselves into gaming. Now, before I open it up, I'm just going to open up these accessories. Actually, you know what? You know what? Let's, let's, just, let's just get straight to the point here. I'm giving all of this away. That's right, you heard me correctly. I'm giving all of this away. I'm not gonna do it in my live stream, but when I do the review, I will mention the details on how you can pick this guy up or win it. Um, yeah, so this is all going away in the next week or so to some lucky winner, okay? So let's just get that out of the way. The next thing, if you buy this, you have the option of basically buying a mouse and headphones with it. This is the Nitro mouse. Let's just do a quick unboxing here. I'm gonna throw this down like that so you guys can see what's going on okay it's not bad this is a right-handed mouse so technically I couldn't use this but basically you have your red and black accents the top of the mouse has this like matte finish to it which feels very nice to the touch you have two shortcut buttons over here that you can bind to different things you have another button right here for your trigger finger this is obviously to shoot things based on the bullseye that's on the side of it and of course you have your sensitivity buttons over here oh my god don't start on me sorry my computer over here is trying to reboot and then of course your scroll wheel which has a nice tactile feel to it so one of you guys are going to be going home away with this in my next video when i actually review this laptop Next is the Nitro headset. Namaste, Miranam Mat. No, Namaste, Miranam Hi Mat. That's how you say it in Hindi. How would you guys like if I took the time to learn Hindi? What if starting going forward, I actually started a Hindi channel? And I don't even speak Hindi, but I'll learn the language if, if I must. All right, we're gonna open this up over here, take off this plastic. And then, pull out these awesome headsets. What's up, Bias Dias? What's up? Grandom from Germany. Welcome to the live stream. I am butchering this unboxing as we go forward. What is going on? This thing is stuck all the way in here. Can this come out? I don't want to rip this. Okay, anyways, I'm not going to try and rip. What the heck is going on here? Oh, there we go. All right. Oh my God, this is like savage mode. Whoever's going to win this is going to be pissed off because it's going to be broken by the time it gets to them. All right, so here is the headset. I'll be honest with you. It's very, very, it feels very flimsy. It's a plastic headset. It's definitely on the cheaper side, but this will get you gaming. This will get you going. And whoever wins this laptop will have all the accessories to go with it. So the microphone moves up. I'm assuming it mutes when it's all the way up in the up position. You don't have any buttons on it. So basically, you're going to have to use your computer to control the volume. I'll leave the plastic on. I'll let you take that off, whoever wins this, to give you some excitement. And of course, you have the expandable positions up here. It doesn't bend. It's pretty much it. Okay, enough of that. Time for the laptop itself. Here we go. Seal is already broken because that's life. Life is full of broken seals. That made absolutely no sense. Oh, here it is, baby. We got the box, power adapter, 
Po I'm guessing the power adapter is going to be around 130 watts. And I am absolutely almost right. It's 135 watts. So it's a pretty good size. It's not as small as, let's say, the power adapter on, let's say, the Lenovo X1 Extreme, but it's still small enough that it makes it fairly portable. So I'm going to take this out because we need to plug in the laptop to set things up. How can we win it? Mana, I will tell you in my next video, which will be when I do my review. I'll give you guys instructions on how to win it. All right, so that's the power adapter. I'm going to put this to the side. And then, of course, you have your manuals, which we really don't care about. And then you have your Acer Elite setup, which is your one-year limited warranty. You can sign it up, connect to it, make sure you have that in action. And here we go, the laptop itself. It came here all the way from the United States. Looking all pretty. All right, time to take it out of the thing. Oh, yeah. Boom. There it is. The Acer Nitro 5. It has this nice metal lid. Of course, you have the pattern going across the, the, the front vertically. This is more of like a, a, stri a striation of, of patterns and the Acer logo in the middle. A little bit of flex right there, but it's, again, this is a budget laptop. You have the Nitro logo in red to give it some two-tone finish. And we're gonna quickly go over the ports. So again, for those of you just joining this live stream, this is a $669 budget gaming laptop using the Ryzen 5 2500U processor. And of course you have eight gigabytes of RAM, a one terabyte hard drive, and a Radeon RX 560X. And I'll, and I'll give you guys an example of um, the performance on that as we go forward. So here we go, we got the SD card slot, we have a USB 3.0, we have a full size HDMI USB Type-C, this is not Thunderbolt 3. This is an AMD product, therefore does not support Thunderbolt. Full-size RJ45 jack and a Kensington lock. On the other side, we have a headphone jack, two USB 2.0 ports, and of course your barrel connector, which is 135 watt power supply. Besides that, you have easy access into your hard drive right over here, and this will take you to your RAM, which you can probably put up to 32 gigabytes inside of here. Right now, there's eight gigabytes of RAM inside of this guy. So, um, yeah, well, from China, from the US, it, yes, technically it was built in China, but this product came from the US. That's at least where the FedEx guy came from, okay? Let's get that straight. All right, yes, the Acer Nitro 5 i5-8300H is probably equivalent to this. Actually, sorry, the CPU itself is faster than the 2500U, but um, the performance should be kind of the same when you're gaming because at the end of the day, you don't really need super fast, you don't need more cores, you just need faster cores. All right, quick little look, let's open up, open up this laptop. Yes, this is a mechanical HD inside, but you can buy it with an SSD instead, or you can take this one, swap it out, and put an SSD inside of here. You have those options. Remember guys, you're complaining. This is $669. What do you want? A GTX 1070 Max-Q, fully loaded with a 4K display? Don't be that guy in the comments. Be a little bit more reasonable. Have some common sense. All right, here's the keyboard. Very similar to all the other Nitro products. It has this nice rubber texture to it. Feels great to type on, a little bit mushy, but again, we're talking budget here. Not that much keyboard flex, which is great. Touchpad is a good size. It's using Windows Precision drivers. It's not glass, it is made out of plastic, but it's good enough for gaming. And to be quite honest, most likely you're gonna hook up a gaming mouse anyways. Other things, you have a full size numeric keypad. So if you're crunching numbers, maybe you're learning how to add for the first time, you can do that on the right hand side. The only thing I don't like is the actual arrow keys. They are a little bit, a little bit too squished against the shift key. So that'll give you an idea. And these are all the features that comes with it. So you have the Acer Nitro Sense, which is basically just faster fans to cool it off. You have the Cool Boost technology, which just basically cranks your fans. True Harmony, which is equalizing the speakers that are inside of here. IPS display, 60 Hertz, 1080p, 15.6 inches. And of course you have that uh, wireless uh, card inside of here that you can swap out if you really, really want to. All right, Fusion Harry said it. This is what we gotta do. We gotta go inside first. That seems to be the consensus over here. So we're gonna go inside and take a look at exactly what you can upgrade. So I got the whole kit over here. Now this is where I'm gonna take some questions while I open up this laptop. So as I do this, feel free to hit me up with any questions. I'm checking out the comment section over here. I'll be sure to answer it. You bought, so Alejandro says he bought one for $550. I don't know how that's possible because you can't even buy this on Amazon right now. So I would love to know where you got it 
for $550 because my friend, that is an absolute steal. Whoever wins this is probably gonna be angry because I opened up their laptop. You just better hope I don't break it while I'm doing this. Yes, Tech Tip says, I know this is a budget laptop, but temperature is important. And I absolutely agree with you. So for those of you unfamiliar with the 560X, that's basically equivalent to a GTX 1050. So you can expect very similar speeds. Um, the only advantages of using this AMD CPU over let's say, actually I should clarify that. So the i5-8300H is technically a more powerful processor. The 2500U is more, more equal to the i5-8250U. So that's the kind of uh, power you're gonna get from this CPU. All right, so just a quick look at the first pocket over here. Oh my God, this is like stuck. There we go. Oh, we got another. This is playing funny over here. I don't like this. There we go. So as you can see here, you have your two RAM slots. Right now there's only eight gigabytes inside of here, but you can stack another one here to give you 16 or 32, depending if you wanna get rid of the other one. Fabio Rodriguez's laptops are so bad for gaming. I prefer a console or an expensive PC, Master Race. Um, laptops are not bad for gaming. It just depends on the laptop you buy. Some laptops, yes, are not the best for gaming because, well, they don't have very good cooling solutions. But there's other fantastic laptops out there that do have good cooling solutions. And those are the ones you want to take a look at. How do I enter the giveaway? Hilario! I just said. I haven't given the rules yet, my friend. Stay tuned for that. That will be in the near future. When I do my review, I'm going to set up some sort of giveaway and give you guys rules on how to win this beautiful thing. So as you can see here, we have the 2.5 inch hard drive. This is swappable. You can take it out. And of course you can swap it out, put another 2.5 inch SSD if you really want to. And I have a feeling, I have a feeling when I take this off, you're going to see an M2 slot, which means you can add a second additional storage drive to really give you that space. Um, yes, Fusion Harry, I said the word console instead of console. I mean, I mixed them up the other way around. I said, never mind. just stop it. Anyways, uh, do you think this laptop has better thermals than the last Acer Nitro 5? That's a great question. I don't know. The last Nitro 5 that I reviewed was in 2017, and I did not like the thermals at all. I didn't even recommend it to a lot of people. But apparently this year, things have been improved, and things are better. So we're going to test that out in my full review. My Y520 Wi is better than most PC. Uh, the Y520, I wasn't a fan of that either. I wasn't a fan of it from last year. The Y530, though... Now that is a good gaming laptop. All right, let me get these screws off, but feel free to hit me up with the questions. I like the portability, Benjamin Dwaha says. I agree with you. This is not the most portable gaming laptop. I think this one, if I remember correctly, is around five pounds or 5.5 pounds. So there are some gaming laptops that are a little bit lighter, but it's not too heavy at all. It's still lighter than the Acer Predator Helios 300, which will cost you a little bit more money, but yet give you a little bit more power. Matt, this stream, you are quite aggressive with your audience, but this is exciting. I know I'm a little aggressive. I, I apologize, but you know what? It's better to be real than not to be real. So sometimes you have to be a little aggressive just to, you know, get the conversation flowing. I want you guys to be open and honest with me as possible because that's the whole point of having a community. That's the whole point of having discussions is being able to speak to me and me being able to speak to you like we're friends. Okay, that's the whole point of this. Um, good night, guys. Tomorrow, Amazon is having a sale. Good night, A Kill. I hope you get some great sleep for the sale. Uh, what else? My MSI GL6 Aether is a better build in heat management than this. Well, how do you know it has better heat management? I haven't tested it yet. I don't think there's any reviews on this laptop yet. That's like a, that's called a blanket statement. You know what a blanket statement is? A blanket statement is, is basically saying or making a false claim without knowing the truth. In 2018, Laptops are better choice than PC if you like going to lands with friends. I agree. If you want portability, you got to get a laptop. Yes, technically you can build a PC for significantly less and get better performance, but good luck carrying that PC on a plane. You'd be like, hey, can I check my PC on uh, the carry-on? I'm just going to bring this to France to do a little land gaming. No, you're going to want a laptop. That's the whole point of it. Yeah, again, we're black and red, but you know, Acer's toned down the whole aggressive look on their on their laptops. They're not as um, mean looking as they used to be, so that's always good. Asus is still a little too aggressive with their styling, I've noticed. Well, actually, the Predator line is a little aggressive as well, but not as bad as it used to be. Hey, Matt, do you think we'd have good battery life due to the rise in new processors? Um, that's a great question. I think the battery life would be better 
But again, um, yeah, well, sorry. The battery, be, the battery life should be good if you're just doing basic productivity tasks. But again, if you start gaming on this, you're gonna kick in the GPU, the GPU is gonna drain that battery pretty quickly. So yeah, I mean, if you're doing simple productivity stuff, it should be fine. I'm gonna open it up and I'm also gonna take a look at the size of the battery. That should also give us an idea of how good the battery life will be. Let's make sure I get all these screws so I don't actually break this thing because I have a habit of almost breaking stuff. Um, okay, we're good. All the screws are off. Let's see how this bad boy looks. All right, here we go. You guys ready? Are you ready for this? What does this laptop look like inside? Are we going to be full of nasty surprises? No, I'm joking. I already know what it looks like inside. Just got to make sure I open this up properly without breaking it. I'm just trying to find a good entry point. Um... I'll do it from the back here. All this pressure, I have so many eyes. Whoa! We're good, we're good. Everything's fine, you didn't see that. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're doing a little open on the back here. You hear that plastic? Don't worry, I'm not cracking the laptop, I'm just loosening it up so I can take it off. There's no scratches so far, so don't worry about the new winner. You're not going to have to worry about that. So it looks like we're going to have to take off this first. That seems to be the case here. The colorway and build, you suck. Thanks, Tom the Tech Savage. Please say my name in your video. Alex, I said your name. All right, let's try to take off this bar here because this seems it needs to come off in order for me to take this off. I just don't want to crack it because I've had, I've, I've actually never broken a laptop opening it yet, but there's always a first for everything, right? I just got to be careful when I stick my little, there we go. All right, here we go. We got some movement, people. We got some movement. Yo, Matt, when do you think the 20 series GPU 9th gen CPUs will be available for laptops? You won't see anything until CES. You might see some concepts, but in terms of mass production and being on the market, you're probably not going to see until April of uh, next year. Whoa, okay, hold on. We're getting here. We're getting here. Got to get the bottom one. All right, got one side. This is how you're not supposed to open up a laptop, so don't, don't, don't like take what I do here as like, um, let's make sure I got all the screws. I feel like I missed one. Um, got all the screws, we're good. Okay, this one's in. Okay, let's just keep going around like this. There we go, we're getting there. So how is everybody's day going? There's actually not gonna, there was actually almost not a live stream today because there was a leak in the studio. But everything is okay. It ended up being very minor, and we fixed it, thank God, and none of the equipment was hurt. I'm almost done here. I just got one more side to open up. This is Ethernet jack giving me a little bit of problems here. I just don't want to crack it. Uh, come on. Once I get this off, we'll be good. Yes, I am a very bad role model when it comes to taking laptops off. We're almost got it here. I just got this one last side. I just want to be very careful so I don't crack it. Uh. One second, guys. We're getting there. We're getting there. Yes, you should not ever use me as a tutorial for taking off laptop covers because I am like the worst case scenario. Okay, hold on. What's going on here? This is one side. It's stuck. I just don't want to rip it. It's just this one little corner. It's going to shake it nicely here. Let's do it this way. Don't want to break it. There we go. Whoop! There's a cable here, guys. I almost ripped it out. Okay, hold on. We gotta take the we gotta take the display cable out. Hold on. Do do do. Okay, we have a cable here. I don't want to rip it. One second, guys. Do you have a background as a PC technician? No, Aria. I have a background as a PC destruction person who just basically butchers everything. No, I do. I used to work in IT a very long time ago. I just don't want to rip this because this cable is connected. Let me see what side makes the most sense. It's the, it's the hard drive cable. I just don't want to rip it. Hold on. 
or this thing's not going to boot up. Yes, yes, yes. It is the hard drive cable. Um, just don't want to rip it. Let's see if I can do this lightly without ripping it out. Uh, let me get this here. This stream could end in all hell if I don't do this properly. Let's see. I'm afraid to take this out. Let me take it from this side. The motherboard is connected there. Come on. Hold on. One second. It's in really awkwardly. Let's see here. Using the OnePlus 6T here to give me some light. Okay. I just don't want to rip it out. Oh, yeah. It's probably better if I take it off from the motherboard instead from there. It's going to rip if I do that. Hold on, guys. So we got it this way. I want to rip it here. I can see this is going from there to there. One second, guys. I has Jerry rig everything next time. I am not unscrewing the HDD. This is not happening. I'm doing it this way. Okay, I'm gonna unscrew the HDD. I'm taking your advice because I don't wanna rip the cable. Because if I do, then we're gonna have a dead laptop and then whoever wins this is gonna be pissed off. They're gonna get a broken computer. So we'll just slip the HDD through it and we'll put it to the side. This way I don't rip it off. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm doing. He gonna break it. Fusion Harry, where's the confidence? Where's the confidence? I ain't gonna break it. Okay. All right, here we go. We did it. Whew. Okay, this is what it looks like, people. So as you can see here, we have a 48 watt hour battery. So <laughs> the battery life is probably not gonna be that great when you're gaming on this thing. Um, as for school, you're probably not going to get that great battery life either. If you want a good battery life while you're in class, you'd probably be looking at, you'd probably want at least a 70 watt hour battery. 48 watt is not going to get you much. Um, M2 slot. You do have an extra one right here. So if you want to put an additional storage device, you have that option as well. Again, RAM slots, Wi-Fi card. You can remove this if you want to replace it with some sort of special one. Battery, as I said before. You have the CPU and GPU. The fans are right beside each other. It's not the best solution for moving heat across, uh, getting heat out of this laptop. But again, this is a 2500U, so we might get better thermals than most other, most other more powerful H series processors. So we'll have to test that when I do the heat tests. Of course, you have three heat pipes running across. But again, I kind of wish these fans were on opposite ends. That would have been a better solution for cooling. On the bottom left and right side, we have your speakers. I'm guessing these are two watt speakers. These are obviously going to be equalized by the True Harmony company, which they had on top of the laptop. So that pretty much wraps it up for uh, the internals of the laptop. Right? Good? Great? Any, any other questions before I close this bad boy up? No? Okay. Let's, uh, let's put it all uh, back together again. Hopefully I can do this without breaking it. Okay, so uh, Darkenon asks, not familiar with AMD GPUs too much. This 560, is it like a 1050 more or less? It's like a 1050. It's pretty much on par with a 1050. So that's, that's the kind of speeds you should expect from this laptop. All right, let's get this bad boy back on. Hopefully I didn't break anything. I don't think I did, but you never know with me because I'm quite clumsy. All right, we put this back through. Let's screw in the hard drive. Is there any problem if you undervolt your CPU? No, there's no problems if you undervolt your CPU. Just, you have to play around with it. If it's undervolted too much, your system will shut down. And obviously, yeah, if it's undervolted too much and not enough power is going to the CPU, you have the potential of instability. And of course, you can expect things like crashes and system failures. So you have to play with it and see what's right for your CPU. 
There's no like correct answer. Every CPU is a little bit different. Depends on the silicones inside. Did you win the silicone lottery? Things like that. So you have to play around with it. In before something does. Matt, is hybrid or regular hard drive? And what's the RPM? It's a regular old HDD. It's one terabyte hard drive. I'm not sure if it's 5400 or 7200. I'm hoping it's at least 7200. But honestly, my suggestion is if you do buy the cheaper model, either cough up the extra 20 bucks and buy the version with an SSD or swap it out like immediately because you'll notice a huge performance gain almost instantly if your main drive is an SSD or an NVMe SSD. What are the integrated graphics in this laptop? That's a great question. I think, it, well, the 2500U, if I'm correct, acts, has an APU attached to it. So, and the APU attached to it is actually faster than the Intel 620. So the integrated graphics card is better than the Intel equivalent, if that makes any sense. You did all right so far. Have confidence in yourself, man. I do have confidence in myself. I just don't have confidence in myself when there's 300 people watching me. Um, okay, so the hard drive is back in. Let's click this all back together. Make sure all the ports are lined up because I have a tendency to uh, leave half the case open half the time and then I end up doing a review video. You can see inside of the laptop. Is there an Intel NVIDIA version of this? Yes, there is, Hamza. The, the Intel version starts with an i5-8300H, and I believe it comes with a GTX 1050 or 1050 Ti. But it is more expensive. You are starting at a higher price point. If you want the absolute cheapest budget gaming laptop, you're gonna get an AMD CPU in it, and this is what it's gonna look like, something like this. Okay, all the ports are lined up. Nothing is broken. Let's put back these things. Should I go for the i7 version with this heat management setup of this laptop or is this one good enough? Again, I don't know what the heat management is like, so I can't really comment on that. But um, if heat management is good on this, then I'm assuming it should be a good... Well, actually, the i7 version run, should be running a little bit hotter than this. Isn't the 1050 dial? What? I don't know what that means. Oh, man, if... Uh get that in here. All right. Let's get these screws back in and then we can start doing some display tests. We can install some programs and really find out what this laptop can do. Yes, if you have any questions after the live stream, just like Tom said, feel free to hit me up on Discord. But we're not done yet, so don't go anywhere. Do not go anywhere. These days, all I ever use my PC for is Beth Bethesda games and all the mods. Well, what games do you play from Beth Beth Oh my god, I'm like stuttering today. What games do you play from Bethesda? Michael, where where is... Oh, that's not Michael. Um, what do you lose going with and do you get FreeSync? Yes, there is FreeSync with this laptop. That is correct. So if you have a FreeSync capable monitor, you can connect it to this and you can enjoy... Free sync frame rates based on whatever your monitor supports. Actually, that's not true. Yes, that is true. Can AMD be trusted for gaming or should I look for an iFi counterpart? Yeah, AMD can be trusted for gaming. I mean, I, my system at home is using an Intel 7700HQ and I'm using an AMD Vega 64 liquid cooled GPU and it's fine. I mean, the only thing I don't like about it is for like when I'm doing editing video, I prefer having an NVIDIA GPU, but it's totally fine for gaming. And there's some games that are better optimized for AMD, just like there's other games that are better optimized for NVIDIA. Yeah, I mean, like, if you're looking for a cheap budget gaming laptop and you're going to bring it to school and you don't mind a little bit of weight, I mean, this one could be good, as long as the thermals check out and the performance is good. But again, like, you're going to be playing games at medium to low settings with this thing. You're not going to be bumping up at the highest frame rates and, and with the best graphics because this laptop is not powerful enough to support it. So who here is watching BlizzCon right now, out of curiosity? I just heard they announced uh, the trailer for the new expansion. Why so many screws? That is great, that's a great comment. There is a lot of screws for this laptop. In fact, there's more screws on this laptop than the majority of gaming laptops that I open. Yeah, there's way too many screws. You don't need this many screws, but you know what? 
That's the way it's designed. And they don't want you opening it up all the time. So I guess that's why, so I guess that's why they have two slots. They figure most likely you're gonna change the RAM and most likely you're gonna swap out the hard drive. So they make those two portions very easy to get to. And then um, if you wanna change anything else, you gotta take off all these screws. screws. I'm looking for an affordable gaming laptop. Well, you've come to the right place. This is a very affordable gaming laptop. How does this compare to the E15 or Aspire 5? So the E15 is with a MX150. This is faster than an E15. The MX150 is more equivalent to a GT1030 GPU. So you're, you're not gonna be playing, you're gonna be playing all games at low settings. Uh, how many more screws left? Oh my God, Jesus. I think I spent half this stream just screwing things in. Yeah, the 7700HQ is very, very hot. It's a very hot, hot processor. Even the new A750Hs are get pretty hot as well. Not as bad as the 7700, but it still gets hot enough. How good is the GPU? So Yo-Yo Me asks, how good is the GPU? And I guess he's new to the chat, but I've already mentioned it, but basically the 560X inside of here is pretty equivalent to a GTX 1050. Uh, two more screws over here. This is the same battery and processor as the Swift 3. The battery is rated at five hours. So if the company's rating it at five hours, I'm giving it three and a half, four hours of use before needing to charge tops. I still think the Helios 300 is the best overall buy. I haven't looked closely at the 2018 model though. I agree with you. The Helios 300 is one of my favorite, like best bang for your buck laptops you can get. Damn it, I forgot to put a screw in for the hard drive. Okay, I'll have to do this afterwards. I'll put it over here. Yes, the Helios 300 is definitely one of the best, better mid-range value buys because not only is it a mid-range gaming laptop, the price is almost budget gaming territory. Is Alienware really worth it or paying for name? So previous Alienware devices, I would say it's not worth it just because they had significant overheating problems, but apparently, the new M15 is supposed to have really good thermals. I still have to get it in studio. I'm working on it. I should have it soon. But yeah, I heard some great things about it. Just a couple of other notes since we're in this live stream. I have two other laptops here, actually. This one, I'm not gonna open it up now, but I'll show it to you. This one right here is the MSI P65, P65 Creator Edition. This is a beast. Expect a review on that very shortly. And in the other room, this all came in today, all in one shot. In the other room, I have the new uh, Razer Blade 15 Mercury Edition, that white laptop, which looks beautiful. Okay, I still got the flashlight on here. Let's turn this off. So let's open it up, not open it up, turn it on. All right, so what do you guys think? Is this gonna turn on or is this gonna just blow up in my face? All right, here we go. The moment of truth. I see power lights, the power lights turning on. I hear fans, beautiful. We still have access to the display. Okay, I'm gonna hook up the power supply while this does this. The fact that you can get a 1080p 60 frames per second high settings for less than a grand is insane. I agree. Laptops are getting better, guys. This year we're going through a little phase of laptops that overheat. No bootable device, god damn it. I messed up the hard drive. We're gonna have to go back in. Well, that's great. That is great. Just my luck. The first time on a stream that I've messed something up. All right, let's open it up again. Totally ripped the cable out. No, I didn't rip the cable out because I didn't take the cable out. So that makes no sense. Okay, let's just open it up quickly. This is why you don't do live streams, people, because in situations like this where you mess something up, you have to sit there on camera and take the and take the humiliation. But I'm gonna take it with class. <laughs> Tom, you suck, Matt Monas. Thanks a lot. Oh man, I do not wanna take off all these screws again. Oh, come on, do I really have to take everything out again? <sighs> that means I have to take out every single screw to get back inside of here. That is not a good way for this live stream. All right, so how about this? Let's take a vote. I'm gonna review this, I'm gonna fix the hard drive cable, but do you want me to do it 
later after this video. And do you want me to unbox something else? Do you want me to unbox the P65 maybe and not screw it up? Or would you rather sit through the rest of this and watch me open this up again? Because this, my friends, is a first for the live stream. And whoever's here has witnessed my first big mess up. But the good news is it can be fixed. I just got to open it up again and fix the cable. Okay, open the next one. Do you recommend this laptop for engineer? Okay, so one person says open it up. You got screwed over. Unbox, yes. This one better than Lenovo Legion 520. Hope the thermals is better than Lenovo. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to put this aside. I'm going to fix the hard drive after this, uh, after this stream. But in the meantime, we can open up another box. Because you know what? I royally messed this one up. Now the laptop's not broken. It still works just fine. It's just I got to connect the hard drive cable. All right. Box number two. Here we go. Oh. This turned, this turned, this basically took a quick turn. Jeez. Gotta love these, you know? Okay, let me switch the cameras here. Ugh. Try not to hit the microphone, hold on. Update title. <laughs> I think we're going to have to update the, update the title for sure right after the stream because um, I just messed this stream up. Oh man, this is so going to be so overexposed with all the white. Okay, so here is the P65 Creator Edition. This, my friends, is a very expensive laptop. I don't even know the specs of this thing. I literally just got it 10 minutes ago. Yes, I know. Everybody screws up sometimes. Okay, so this, the top thing right here is a case for the laptop. Straight from China, even has the Chinese writing on it. Like this did not make it to North America for translation. It just went straight to China to your house. So there's that. Sorry, Acer. If any Acer reps are watching this, I apologize because yeah, things happen, things happen. All right, enough. I know, right? So many people are gonna join this and be like, yo man, thumbs down, dislike, video, you're lying. Clickbait title, man, you opened up $4,000 computer and like you're trying to get hits. That's exactly what's gonna happen. But you know what? It's life. Ugh, this box is awesome. This is like a solid wood box. Still has that fresh paint smell. All right, here we go. What? Okay, this, uh, this unboxing is kind of more exciting, right? Look at that. You get this nice wood box with it. MS65 or MSI saying, should you have any questions, contact us. Wow, beautiful. Oh, wow. Man, this thing is thin. Okay, let's see what's inside the box first. So one person says, did you turn it off and back on? Okay, I'm gonna try and turn it off back on meanwhile while I do this. Trust me, I think the cable's still loose, but I'll try turning it on, turning it on again. Okay, well that does that. What else do we have? We have paperwork. I'm gonna put that back in the box. We have our power connector. I'm going to take that out. The power connector. Yeah, it's still no bootable device. See, I got to fix the hard drive so you guys can see. All right. So let's turn this off. So plug. This is a... Doesn't say. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Where are you? Um, I'm guessing this is 150 watt power supply. 201 watts. Now that doesn't make sense. Okay, I'll find that out afterwards. But I'm, I'm guessing it's, it might actually might be 200 watts just because of the power of this laptop. So we got paperwork. We got your plug. I'm gonna put this out of the box, out of the way. I have no idea what the specs of this. I literally just got this today. Like I didn't even have a chance to like look it up and do my homework. All I know is that. It's the creator edition of the Stealth. So if you've always wanted a more creator first laptop, gaming second, oh my God, this is nice. This is really nice, people. We have a metal lid. 
nice and cold to the touch just because it came off the truck about 10 minutes ago. Wow. Okay. Let's open this up. Very nice. Okay, here we go. So it has an i7 8th gen processor, so automatically that tells me it's an 8750. I'm gonna skip opening it up for a second and just power this on because I'm quite curious what the specs are of this guy. So this is kind of, I'm not a fan of this. It's kind of cheap over here. A lot of flex on the top of it. Okay, let's turn it on. All right, looks like I'm gonna need to plug it in because it doesn't have any power. Either that or I automatically, whoa, did you see that? Either that or I automatically broke this one too. Okay, let's plug that in. Matt, not a good day to open up laptops. Please don't open up this beauty. I'm not going to, Asan. I'm not gonna open up this one. We're just gonna do some quick tests on it. I'm definitely gonna have to change the title though. My God, if you saw my studio right now, you'd be like, what the heck is going on? There's just stuff everywhere. All right. Okay, we got it plugged in. There we go. All right, it's booting up. Come on, work. P65 doesn't have a bootable drive either. Come on, Mike. Come on. Give me some credit. Okay? It was one mistake. It's never happened before. I really make mistakes. Well, actually, I make a lot of mistakes, but I really make mistakes on live streams. Okay, let me clean this area up a little bit. Put that over here. So we're boot booting it up. Right off the bat, this display looks pretty good. The question is, what kind of display is it? If this is the creator edition, of the, the stealth, and that means this must be a 4K display. At least that's my... Hi there. Whoa. I'm Cortana. Cortana? You're not here to help. You're not here to help. I don't need any help, okay? I can open up laptops. You're the last person I want to talk to. Can you show us your studio? Yes, I can one of these days. Change the title to Bad Things Happen When You Don't Unscrew the Hard Drive. I should. I actually should change that. Screen size, 15.6 inches. This is a lot thinner. This reminds me of like a, a razor blade, but like MSI version. Okay, here we go. So he has a fingerprint scanner right here. I'm not a fan of this position. I prefer it like up here or like on the side, but hey, you know what? At least it has one. And also the webcam is on the top. Ooh, I do like the fact that I can put the display all the way down like this. A lot of laptops don't have a 180 degree hinge. Hello, Matt. Hello, Peter. Looks amazing. I know, it's not a bad looking laptop. I mean, it's not, the finesse is not as nice as the white version of the razor blade, but it's still a nice difference than buying like your typical black MSI laptop. All right, let's see. Imagine if it was your co-host, I would totally be all over. Yeah, this is why you're not my co-host, Tom, because you would just be laughing at me and swearing at me the whole time. Can your laptop do this? <laughs> to post up, it has a GTX. Thanks, thank you so much, um, our Shattered Legacies. Uh, so GTX 1070, i7-8750H. It's pretty much an MSI GS65, but bright, right. There you go. Is it a 1070 or 1070 Max-Q? I'm assuming it's a Max-Q due to the thinness of this laptop. I'd be very shocked if they stuck a full-size GTX 1070 in here. Please let me know your favorite overall gaming mid tier 10 to 1200 USD. Um, 10 to 1200 USD, probably the Y 730. Or is that more than, I think that's like 1250. That's probably my favorite gaming laptop for that price point, even though it's using a 1050 Ti. No. How much does this cost? Um, I'm not sure. Again, like I said, I just got this laptop like 20 minutes before I started the stream. I'm sorry, I mean, this is like, this is backup. Usually I'm prepared, I know the specs, I know the price, but because I just messed up the hard drive cable on the other one, this is like backup decision. All right, here we go. I'm gonna type this in, I'm just gonna change this so you guys can't see it for one second. Just, let's do this. Dude, like your channel, I'm signing out. Good luck, don't screw up the hard drive. Thanks, Benjamin, I'll try not to. But most likely I will. Y730 or G7? I like the Y730 better. I know it's slower, but I prefer it. I'm gonna skip the fingerprint sensor because I don't care about that right now. I'm not gonna create a pin. Okay, I'll create a pin. Let's do that quickly. I'm gonna do a pin. 
it's the max Q variant thought. So yeah, there's no way they're sticking a full size 1070 in here. So that makes sense. Do it later. So Warren asks, what's the IO like? Great question. So let's do that while this sets up. On the left hand side, So on the left-hand side, we have an Ethernet port, two USB 3.0 ports, your headphone jack, and your microphone port. On the right-hand side, you have your barrel connector right over here. You have a full-size HDMI. You have a mini display port, USB Type-C Thunderbolt 3, and another USB 3.0 port. And on the back, we have nothing. Nothing on the back. So just enough I.O. for basically all the stuff you do when you game. Say hello to my little OnePlus 6T. OnePlus 6T is right here, guys, for those of you asking about it. Can you please suggest me a gaming laptop that costs five to 600 bucks? So for five to 600 bucks, you're looking at a, a super duper like budget, budget gaming laptop. You're looking at something like the Aspire E15. It's not really a gaming laptop, but you can kind of game on it if you lower the settings to like very, very low. What's the laptop with the best thermals? I have a Dell and Sprint 7567. Both CPU and GPU go 9 degree off, uh, nine degrees Celsius often. Uh, the Razer Blade 15 has good thermals if you get the 1060 variant. Um, the Lenovo Y530, the Lenovo 730 have good good temperatures. The rest, they, they get really toasty. You can push them to 90 degrees Celsius. Um, what else did I test recently that has good thermals? I mean, but for the, the ones that I just mentioned are my favorite in terms of thermals. Lenovo X1 Extreme, I like a lot because of its lightness, but it's it does get hot. Can it run Crisis? Tom, I hate your guts. Gaming laptop or mobile workstation? So this is a, this is technically, has the same internals as a GS, GS65, but they've kind of revamped it for creators. So you're still getting the same power, but you're also getting other touches like a more color accurate display. I think this is a 4K display, so you have better color accuracy if you're a video producer like myself or if you're doing Photoshop along with that power. So think of it as a creator's laptop first with the ability to game second. Like all the internals inside of it are the same as the GS65, so you still have all of that power. HP Omen 15 is good too, but it gets just as hot as the Helios 300. Um, when I say hot, I don't mean hot to the point where I don't recommend it. I just mean hotter than the other laptops I just mentioned. Are you going to get a chance to review the Alienware M15 soon? Yes, I am working on getting one. I should have one in the next little while. Can it run Pornhub at 4K? No, it can only do it at 2K. I'm joking. We're not going to test that on the stream because that's not appropriate, but I am pretty sure I'll have no problems doing that. Okay, so quick little test over here to see the settings. So in this laptop, we're looking at... Oh, so this display is only 1920 by 1080, which is not the best for a creator first edition of a laptop. I'm assuming you can also buy this with a 4K display because if you can't, then I don't see the point of having it in white. In terms of processors, you're getting Let's see. So this is an i7 8750H, 32 gigabytes of RAM, and we're getting for GPU, it's 1070 like our Shattered Legacy said. Yeah, 1070 is Max-Q design, as you guys can see right here. That's totally blown out right there. Okay, so let's quickly do a display test to see if this thing is actually color accurate because they're basically marking this as a creative product. So I'm gonna load up my hard drive. Where did I bring the hard drive? Great, I didn't even bring the damn hard drive, so I have to download it, one second. Wow, this is the most disorganized stream I've ever done. I apologize, guys. This is like rookie hour. So one person asks, um, for some reason they put 144 hertz display on this. I believe this is 144 hertz display. I'm just gonna log into, um, one second. Let's see if I can load up the GeForce Experience. Let me just download um, Data Color 5 Spider so I can do an actual test here. No, it's not touchscreen. This is a matte finish. Roger has just arrived now. Why isn't Amazon here? So for those of you just tuning in, I did have the Nitro 5 on the table. I opened it up. I showed you guys the internals. I talked about the specs. But me being me, 
Sometimes they get a little clumsy. I accidentally disconnected the hard drive and I put all the screws back together and there's about like 50 screws on that thing. So instead of reopening it up and taking up the rest of the stream, I decided to unbox another product, which happens to be the MSI P65. Hope that makes sense. Matt, which do you prefer between Predator 300 versus HP Omen 15? Honestly, it's a very close tie. Um, they both have their, their benefits. I personally prefer, I don't know. I think I prefer the, the Omen 15 for portability, but I like the 300 for, um, for the price. Okay, downloads. There is no 4K option for this, y'all. Go buy the, really, there's no 4K option for this? That doesn't make sense. Like, if you're going to be marketing this as a creator product first, then you'd want 4K panel for people who use, who do video editing. I mean, that's what this thing is built for. for at least it has the power to do that kind of stuff. Okay, we're going to download Spider 5. We're going to do a little display test. Hey, Matthew, what's your opinion on the Asus Zephyrus and its thermals? Great question. I actually reviewed the Asus Zephyrus about, what, eight months ago? It's a great laptop. Thermals were good when I reviewed it. I have no problems with it. It's a little bit thicker, but it's a good laptop. I bought an i5, I bought a Nitro 5 two days ago with an i7 8th gen 1050, 8 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabyte SSD for 750. Is that a good deal? By the way, I live in Europe. That is a great deal. Usually for that price, you're looking at an i5. So it sounds like you got a great deal, dude. Especially if you live in Europe, because usually prices are a little higher over there. Which do you think is better, Acer Nitro 5 i7 version versus Lenovo Y520? I'm guessing this year's Nitro 5 would be a better buy. I didn't. I honestly did not like last year's Y520, and I did not like last year's Nitro 5. So if you get this year's Nitro 5, you should have some better luck. Okay, I'm just installing all the thermal, installing all the display stuff. Y530 and not 520. Matt, you're doing a great job, by the way. Thank you, Peter. I appreciate it, especially after this uh, terrible incident with the other laptop. G7 thermals. G7 thermals are okay. Things run well. It's not the best out of the, the budget or mid-range gaming laptops, but they're good. They're fine. I don't. They're not that bad. So, um, Camp Axe. The only Zephyrus that I've reviewed is the Zephyrus M. I haven't touched the Zephyrus S yet or the regular Zephyrus. So... Hopefully that provides you with some better contacts. What's the battery size of this guy? I'm not sure, I have to open it up, but we're not opening it up today because I've already screwed up one laptop. I'm not gonna do the same thing with this one. But don't worry, I'm gonna fix it. Whoever wins it will be happy. The cable will be plugged back in. It was just a minor mistake on my part. All right, let's load up the display thing over here and let's give this a display test. When do you think the RTX laptops will come? So we should start seeing some of them at CES this year, but they probably won't hit the market, at least based on previous years, until April of 2019. At least that's my guess. Okay. Next question. Do you recommend ZenBook Pro 15 580, the i7 one? ZenBook Pro 15 580. 580. Is that the is that the one with the GTX 1050 Ti? I recently bought a SUS FX 5G with 85 with NVIDIA 1050. Well, how do you like it, Moe? It is a good laptop. How big is the screen? 15.6 inches. All right, let's warm this up. So the fans are a little bit on the loud side. I'm not doing much, but they are here. I can definitely hear them. I think in around, this will give you guys some context. See how loud the fans are. I'm just gonna be quiet for one second so you can hear them. So we're getting around 45 decibels just on idle. It is doing some stuff. It is installing some programs, so it's not on like 100% idle, but it's not doing much. So you're looking at around 45 decibels. But in all fairness, I haven't updated anything. There might be bias updates, so I'll report back in my full review. Uh, you should start to idle cancel. Okay, here we go. Laptop next. 
When is the GTX 2050? And I, I just answered that question. Probably most likely next year. Try the ROG Strix Scar Hero 2. I definitely want to get my hands on it. I'm working on it. Yes, Mike, it is a little bit loud. But in all fairness, nothing has been installed. I am installing programs. There's been no BIOS updates, but it is getting a little bit on the louder side right now, just for being on idle. Okay, let's see how this looks. Okay, let, let it do its thing. Questions. GTX 1050 reviewed the i9, which had throttling issues. The i9 of which laptop? The Alienware 15? Looks like you can't bring this to a library. No, probably not. Do you recommend to buy used gaming laptops? Um, yeah. I mean, as long as, as long, I mean, if it's from a friend or something, you have to really know that friend well. How well, you know, how, how much does he take care of it? What does he do with it? Um, if you're buying something refurbished, I always recommend buying from the company itself. Usually they have warranties to go along with it. But if you're buying off eBay, it's kind of hit or miss. Sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes you get some jerk who like abused it, ate potato chips all over it. There's like, who knows what else is inside of it. Matt, there is a Dell laptop from the Spiron series, uh, 7000 version, which gives you an 8th gen core, I tell blah, blah, blah. Uh, do you think it's worth it? Well, for how much? How much is it going for? The MX130 is a pretty weak processor. So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, if you're just buying it for gaming, it's not a good option. What's a good budget for a gaming computer? Uh, for a gaming computer, you can build something for like 800 bucks and get pretty good frame rates. Matt, I bought an MSI GF63 and I want to use the M2 slot. So what should I get? 16 gigabyte option or 256 gigabyte SSD? Oh, I think you meant Optane. Definitely an SSD. So uh, Optane is great, but if you have the option to get a full size SSD, it's always more beneficial. What do you like? Will you like a pink razor blade? If I bought a pink razor blade, that'd be the laptop I use for the next three years. Your budget is eight, no, it's not worth it for $880. This laptop is better and it's $120 cheaper than the one you just mentioned. What about the Xiaomi Notebook Pro 16 gigabytes? How good is it for productivity tasks? I don't know, I haven't used it, but it should be more than fine for productivity because I believe that has a GTX 1060 inside. So whatever productivity you're doing, it should have zero issues handling it. I'm just going to clean this up a little bit here. So it's doing the little display test. How to test cooling system of laptop. Well, there's a bunch of things you can do. You can do real life testing, which is playing a bunch of games for a very long period of time and kind of monitor the temperatures and the resources. Or the other way to test the temperatures of your laptop is to run performance tests. I, also, I always prefer real life experience over performance benchmarks because I find a lot of the times these laptops are basically lowering the clock speeds of the CPUs when it detects the CPUs are being utilized for 100% for a very long time. So I always prefer real life experiences over benchmarks. Um, I bought the Helios 300, the i5 and 1050i I'm from India and took approximately M3. That's awesome, dude. I'm sure it's a great laptop. The 1050i is more than enough to play most games at 1080p fine between medium and high settings. Hello, Jack. Jake, sorry. Welcome to the channel, buddy. Appreciate you being here. Hey, Matthew, what do you think of the Strix 2? I got the 1060 for 10, 1500 USD in Europe, though. I've heard great things about the Strix 2. I think it's a 17-inch laptop. I've been dying to get my hands on it, but Asus Canada sucks for getting units, so I'm very slow to get things from here. Honestly, this laptop is pretty much the exact same spec as the Razer Blade 50 to have in the other room. I have a feeling this is going to be the exact same display. For video editing, which lightweight laptop is best around for $1,000? Well, for $1,000, your options are going to be laptops that don't have the most color accurate display. So, for example, the MSI GF63 is a very light laptop. It's fine for video editing, but you're not going to get a color accurate display. And if you don't mind that, then it's a great option. Um, what else can you get for 1000 bucks to edit video? You're basically looking at a budget to mid-range gaming laptop for editing video. So just find the ones that have the lowest weight. So the Y530, the Y, actually the Y730 is out of your, your budget. So the Y530 would be an option. The MSI GF63 would be an option. And what else? That's it. That's probably the only two laptops you're going to get for that price point that are light. Is the Razer Blade 15 VR ready? Yes, it is. Can you game with the new MacBook Air? No, you cannot game with the new MacBook Air. 
Um, I have around two thousand dollar budget. And I would love to get a K, like the letter. You would like to get a K? I don't. I don't know what that means. Can you please tell if Lenovo X One Extreme Thermal Throttles and is wise to buy such a laptop, which is expensive too? So Sakith, I use the X One Stream as my laptop choice when I travel. I prefer the Razer Blade 15, but I purposely take the X1 Extreme, even though it's a little bit slower, just because of its weight. This thing is four pounds. Yes, it gets hot, but it doesn't get hot enough that it affects my work. So in comparison, I did a bunch of render tests and it renders two, about two minutes slower than the Razer Blade 15 that, during a project that takes about 15 to 16 minutes. Oh, can you build a $500 PC that can run Black Ops? Yes, for $500 US, for $500 Canadian, you can probably just buy the case. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we get for color accuracy. So right off the bat, MSI did a pretty good job of factory calibrating the display. So we're getting a 97% sRGB and 75% Adobe RGB. So for some context, this display is pretty much the exact same display as the one in the Razer Blade 15 in terms of color accuracy. So you're getting a matte display, put my finger here so it focuses, you're getting a matte display, 144 hertz with pretty good color accuracy. But again, they shouldn't be promoting this as a creator laptop with a, with a display that's not 4K and 100% color accurate, at least with sRGB. Helios 300 or Legion Y530. Um, the Helios 300 will give you better performance. The Y530 will give you better portability. And I think the Y530 is built a little better, but if, you, if you're all about performance, the, uh, the 300 will give you more value. Um, which laptop is better, Acer Nitro 5 or Acer Predator Helios 300? Acer Predator Helios 300. The Nitro line is Acer's budget line. The Helios line, the 300 series, is their mid-range line. Then you have the 500 series, which is more of their upper mid-range line. And then you have like the Predator series. Okay, so display's done. Let's do a quick little uh, hard drive test. I mean, honestly, I mean, we've gone already an hour. I don't want to like bore you to death with more tests. I'll probably do full reviews on this. I do want to apologize for one of the worst live streams I've done this year. I completely botched this. I promise this. Well, I can't promise because most likely it will happen again because that's what I do. But I'm just gonna do. I'm just gonna do a bunch of questions. Anything else about this laptop you want to know before I shut it down? I know I usually do a hard drive test and and I open it up and then I do like a heat test and stuff. But the problem is um, we're running out of time. So let's take up a cu couple of questions and then we're going to uh, close this for the day. And again, I apologize. What do you suggest? Dell Inspiron 757 GTX 1050R HP Pavilion 15. I would get the HP Pavilion 15. Next, oh, that's an i7. Yeah, HP Pavilion 15 for sure. Um, next question comes from, how was the Lenovo X1 Extreme? I love it, it's a great laptop. If you want something that's light, portable, built like a tank, you don't mind if it gets a little toasty, but still gives you great performance, I think it's a great laptop. What's your opinion on the Asus gaming laptops? Um, depends on the laptop. Some of them are great, some of them are okay. Like I just reviewed the Hero. Not a fan of it because of the TN display, but it's not a bad laptop. Matt, what do you think about MSI company in general? I don't know. I haven't reviewed, out of all the companies, I've reviewed a few of their laptops, but I haven't reviewed a ton of their laptops. I mean, their quality control has been kind of an issue for a lot of people, at least from what I understand. I actually reviewed one of their laptops, and then as soon as I posted the review, the laptop like completely died. This was like, this was like over a year ago. When are we playing some Overwatch Fortnite? I'm gonna be streaming this Sunday. I'm just gonna be playing Black Ops, maybe some Overwatch, not Fortnite. I can't stand playing Fortnite, but Overwatch and Black Ops, if you guys wanna join me or just watch or just, just chat in general, 9 p.m. Eastern time this Sunday, I'm gonna be doing some gaming. Is it still worth to buy a GTX 1050 gaming laptop? Well, if your budget doesn't allow you to buy anything more powerful than that, then yeah, totally. I mean, you gotta, you gotta go with what you can afford. The 1050 is still fine to play most games comfortably at medium to low settings. How to properly care for a laptop's battery, Matt? Um, that's a great question. I think if you're buying a gaming laptop, you shouldn't be too concerned about properly caring for it because they suck to start off with and you're buying it for gaming, so you should always have it plugged in. Mohsen Balak says, are you from Montreal, Quebec? No, I am not. I am from Toronto, Canada. Best thermal paste, not the liquid metal, but the normal ones. Um, Arctic Cool Air is good. Um, 
what else is there? The, no, the Grizzly one is their liquid metal. I usually use, I usually, usually just use Arctic, the Arctic versions of it. It's fine. Video editing laptop for around about 2000. Uh, if you can score an X1 Extreme, a Blade 15, don't get the Dell XPS 15 unless you get the i7 version. Um, what else is there for 2000? Matebook X Pro i7, is it worth it? Yes, love it. I recommend that laptop to a lot of people. If you can get your hands on it, great Ultrabook. This was an amazing stream. Thank you, Benjamin. I am so sorry. I, I don't know how you can say it's an amazing stream. I completely like botched this completely to the point of like making this the worst stream, but I appreciate the compliment nonetheless. Carlos Garcia. I want to buy the Nitro 5 with the Core i7 and GTX 1050 Ti, but I would like your opinion to see if I should save the extra bugs and buy the one you were going to review. Extra bugs? Extra, I guess you meant extra money. Um, so the GTX Core i7 1050 Ti Nitro 5 is going to be more powerful than the one I have here. So if you're looking for more performance, I would go out and buy that one instead. Don't buy this one. This is if you're like on a super tight budget, but yet you still want a game. Uh, how much will you sell a used Aspire E15 Core i7 and GTA 40s 920M? I don't know. I'm on eBay, bro. Oh, Michael, Michael, Michael. I know your laptop. Yes. Um, your laptop you can probably get for 920M. Oh, wow. I would guess your laptop's worth like 350 to 400 bucks US. That's my guess. I could be wrong. Check eBay. There, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's tons of other people selling the exact same model. How was the build quality of the Acer Nitro 5 and how was Acer company in general? So Acer has gotten really, Acer has gotten a lot better this year. Their quality control is starting to improve. Uh, most of the Acer laptops I've reviewed this year have been pretty good. Uh, the Nitro 5, again, I haven't reviewed, so I can't comment on it, but I'll have that up shortly. GTX 1080 Ti versus GTX 2070. If you can get a deal on 1080, 1080 Ti, I'd probably buy that. Uh, the 2070 will be better for 4K gaming, but there's nothing really really taking advantage of race tracing. Lenovo Legion Y530 i7-8750H for 900 euros. A great deal. Um, i7-8750H-1050Ti for 900 euros. Uh, it's, I don't think that's a great deal. I think that's like normal. Tell us if you go on the MX150, thanks. Okay, I'm gonna pretty much wrap it up for this one. Guys, I apologize again for this terrible stream. Join me at 9 p.m. on Sunday if you guys wanna see, um, if you, want, if you guys want to game with me, you're more than welcome to game with me. You're more than welcome to watch it. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, everyone, from my Discord server who joined the stream to help moderate the chat. Hit me up on Discord if you have any more questions. I'm usually there popping in and out to help you guys out with your purchases or just advice in general. Maybe maybe you got into a fight with your girlfriend and you want to talk about it with me. I'll be there for you. Well, anyways, that, that wraps it up. You guys, have a great weekend. And I promise next week's stream will be a lot more organized. Hopefully, we'll have Ash here to help with the questions. But... Uh, yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. Have a great, great weekend, everybody.